97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Hello, this is City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Lacanio Furi. Here are today's top stories. In our first top story, the opposition New Patriotic Party has accused the government of deliberately refusing to retrieve the 51 million CD judgment debt paid to businessman Alfred Agbeshi Woyeme. According to the party, despite a Supreme Court ruling asking the state to retrieve the money, government has refused to respect the ruling. Now, addressing a news conference in the crowd today, the communications director for the party, Nana Komiya, said the recent ruling that dismissed an appeal by the Attorney General challenging a ruling of the High Court that discharged businessman Alfred Woyomi of any criminal offence in the 51 million CD judgment debt case shows that government is deliberately refusing to retrieve the money from him. Now, the District Security Council, DISEC, in the Cetri Afram Plains District in the Eastern Region, is meeting today over the Fulani Menes. The meeting among the DISEC, the residents, and the headsmen comes more than a week after two people were killed in clashes between the indigenous and Fulanis in the area. In a City News Daily interview, the District Chief Executive for Cetri Afram Plains, Fuseini Donko, explained that the meeting was meant to identify unregistered headsmen who should be driven out. In other news, the Environmental Service Providers Association has served notice the country will record a cholera outbreak soon if government fails to settle three years arrears or the them. The association says it may be forced to shut down its landfill site if the arrears are not paid. Now, a similar move by the association two years ago resulted in an outbreak of cholera in the country. Amma Uforienchi, who is the executive secretary of the group, says shutting down the landfill site is a last resort in an attempt to have their debts paid. Now, for those of you who are hoping to get passports anytime soon, we have this news for you. Now, a City News Daily check at some banks has revealed a huge challenge with the acquisition of passport forms. Some selected banks have been serving as points of sale for passport forms. However, the banks visited indicate that they have run out of passport forms for about a month now. The situation is making things difficult for people interested in acquiring passports. Now, the passport office is yet to explain the cause of the shortage. In our final story, security analyst Dr. Kwesianin is urging the country's security apparatus to invest their efforts into finding the root causes of conflicts. This, he says, will help deal with anticipated election-related violence. Dr. Kosienin, who admits that this year's election will be a fiercely contested one, reviews three kinds of election-related violence that might happen before, during, and after the election. The first, he says, is physical violence. Second, with violence from the disruption of political activities and rallies. And the third is what he terms psychological violence. Despite what looks like a gloomy picture, the security analyst believes all is not lost. He says an understanding of all forms of violence, irrespective of their magnitude, is a first step to checking the problem. And that's it for City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Lacanio Furi. Many thanks for watching.